Alrighty guys, what is going on? This is Murphy Bear Truck. Alright, so we got a little project we're going to do today for the truck. Just a little simple, you know, do-it-yourself type deal here. But this is the cooler we've been using on the truck. I'm getting tired of having to dump the water out of it when the ice melts, you know, all that good stuff. So, on the bottom of your cooler, you have this drain plug here. So, we went to the store. We picked up a couple of uh, fittings. So, we got a half inch elbow, 90 degrees. Then we got some half inch, 45 degrees. And then a uh, coupler. And then a little piece that goes to the end of a guarding hose. All right. So, you're probably saying to yourself, well, water's still gonna come out of it. So now we got a shutoff valve. And we're gonna put a shutoff valve on the end of this. So, you know, every day, you know, you can just drain it or every two days, however you wanna drain your water. You can just flip the switch right here and it will just drain it for you. But we gotta glue all this together. So I figured you guys, you know, you know, want to see, you know, what we're doing here. Let me make sure this valve is going to work first. Right there. It should work. This is the only part in the store we need to test. So we just screw that together like that. Coupler. And then we're just running some glue up in there. 45 degrees with another 45 degree with the elbow all right and all we're going to do is glue it right like that and then we just turn the valve water. As simple as that. And then we're going to have a hose pipe. It was actually cheaper just to buy a 50 foot hose pipe. Um, but we weren't sure where we're going to put this at in the truck yet. It's either going to be in the floor, on the top of the bunk, in the truck. So you just screw that on there. And then run it outside your truck. And then there you go. Simple little way to um you make a little drain plug for your cooler here i mean it's real nice too you know how it looks let me show you guys so this is how it looks right here so you got the 90 degree elbow that comes off to a 45 degree then another 45 degree that it brings it out so now you're straight with the outside of the cooler here because the reason why you had to bring it out was, you know, it's in that little groove here. So now we got a coupler with the plastic PVC to a adapter for a hose. Then you have this cutoff switch right here. And then the hose will go from here outside the truck. I was going to put this on the end of the hose, but then water is going to stay inside the hose and all that. So what we're going to do is just uh, do it this way right here. Alrighty guys. So what I did was I went ahead and marked. So when I glue it, what you're going to do is line up the pieces here the way they're marked. Um, I need to go ahead and make a line here and then we're going to use the little groove to make it straight right there so when you glue it you want to just line them all up so that way it's the way it should be when you after you glue it you put it back together so all right guys and this right here doesn't matter because it's just a straight piece, so it doesn't matter where you glue it at, which way it's angled. Um, as long as that piece is on top, you know, of course, but 
but yeah so let me get to it Alrighty guys, so I got the uh, thing over. I had to go get me some different type of pliers because my pliers doesn't want to work. Yeah, I know I'm getting some of my 73 road running here, but this is a uh, project car. Um, if y'all haven't seen this video of the car yet, y'all will be seeing it soon. Um, we went and picked it up a couple months ago. I've had this car since I was 17 years old, so there's nothing wrong with it really besides just getting it running back on the road things like that but you know like I said it's a video coming out soon of this car um, so hopefully one day guys when we come home we can start working on this uh, just the end of the year right now 2023 so we're just uh, trying to get these videos edited and get them out there so you guys can see what we're doing out here all right so since we got that done the drain plug now I don't know how well this is gonna work but we bought up, bought some new hinges, some gold brass hinges because this hinge right here is broken. Um, so we're gonna try to take these screws out, and we're gonna put in the new one, and we're gonna see how well it works. Because you know, if this side is broken, that side is gonna break soon too. So. You get two of these in a pack, so we're gonna try it. thing I'm worried about though is this seal you guys can seal on this but at least I know if this works then if we get another cooler we can do the same just take this off and just glue it onto the newer newer cooler but you know hey you know it works though
We really need to tighten this up. But you see how um, I can move that real easy. I don't really like that. Only way to test is just put some water in it and we'll see how well it works. So I'll be right back guys. So, it's been about a good 15 minutes. But like I said guys, I'm worried about it leaking around this part since that part it moves a lot. So we're gonna put two and a half gallons of water. that in there I don't see any water leaking from anywhere alrighty guys I am back this time I got about four and a half gallons of water so you want to hold that open for me put some more pressure on that So that should be by much water it'll be in there about five gallons of water so we're gonna let it sit here and we're gonna test it to see if anything leaks out of it and if it doesn't then that's good um, the only thing I'm worried about is like I said is the seal let me put the hose pipe on there. Cause I just don't like how that moves a lot. But when you put the hose pipe on it, it's gonna weigh it down. So I gotta build something that's gonna hold this pipe up so that it doesn't try to fall down. So if it's a bracket or something to screw this up on here we gotta attach it to here so it's not moving if we can just get that from moving a lot I think we should be fine so guys let me go try to figure out what I can build here and I'll be right back alrighty guys be back alrighty guys it is getting dark on us as you can see now I found some um, insulation foam. It goes uh, with, it comes with the water heater. When you buy a water heater, so it's like an insulation that goes around a pipe, and it's like a half inch pipe. So what I did was I cut some of this off right here, and this is what I did. So what we have is this right here and I'm gonna glue all this together to where it's all one solid piece but now what you can see is it's resting on that so now when I push down on it it's not moving as much so that right there is gonna probably fix our issue with the movement I mean yes it still has some movement but it doesn't move as much as like it did before so i'm gonna hot glue this together right here these two pieces and then once i glue it together then you know you just slide it on here and it's on there and i might run some hot glue around the back of it here just to you know kind of weld it together to that but once i get it all in the truck guys i will update you and bring you along and yes, it still has water in the cooler. So I'm going to test the valve real quick. Let's see. Oh, wow. So there you go. There's the water coming out. Right there. So it has a nice, nice drain. Yeah, so 
there you go we just do that at night time when we start flip the little switch like i said we're going to have the host pipe hooked up to it and run it out the driver's door of the truck so when i stop at night that's my job is to run the host pipe outside and we're all good to go Alrighty, guys i'll bring you right back Alrighty, guys we are in the house i'm actually in my little work area where i do a lot of crafts and sewing and stuff like that but you know we're gonna do some videos of the income soon as soon as we get time to come home and and able to film some of the stuff we do uh so just avoid all of this back here this just you know it's cold outside i need to use a hot glue gun so i had to come in here to my workstation and use my workstation so next time you see a video in here hopefully it's nice and clean all right so this is one of the pieces i cut and this is the other piece that will go over top of this to give it the extra space we need to make it flush on the bottom here so when it's sitting in the truck the second piece is what this part's going to sit on the first piece that we put on is to help between the gap of right here so the first piece is do the gap between the cooler and the pipe that'll keep it from moving that way this piece will keep it from moving up and down when we're going down the road it bounces a lot so i'm trying to keep all the movement to the minimum so tight glue gun should be warmed up pretty soon here but it just goes on air like that and i'm gonna hot glue it and then i'm also going to run some hot glue around the fittings as well just to give it some extra um strength here I know we put the glue on it for the PVC pipe, um, but I, I just want to put some more hot glue on it just to make sure it's not going to leak in my truck because this right here holds like seven gallons of water. So if we have three gallons of water in there and this thing busts, it's going to be a disaster inside my truck. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and run some hot glue around the fittings especially this one uh, since it only really had a rubber gasket it's going to be hard to get all the way around it with it being already on the cooler I'm going to try my best to get as much of it as I can I mean, like I said, it was holding the water really good. Um, I'm just trying to give it as much protection as I can. That's all I'm trying to do here. Now let's just run some glue around this one. might go ahead and put some on this piece since this is where it's going to be sticking to okay so we got some glue on there and let's go ahead and slide this over top of it like that okay So now, like I said, that's going to keep it from moving towards the cooler. So it minimized that movement. Now this other one, it's not completely flat along the bottom here. So you see right there, we still need at least another half an inch right here. So when I put this piece on, it's going to go up in there.
Thank you. I think we just had it like that outside. Yep, like that. So now, with it like that, now it's nice and flush with the bottom. Now, it might look a little round in the video, but once you sit it on the floor, it's going to rest on that right there. So now that's going to keep it from moving up and down like that. So now we have no movement this way, and when we have it sitting on the floor, it's not going to move that way. And then with the hose pipe attached to this, all that extra weight, you know, it's going to help right there, this part right here. So let me go ahead and put some hot glue on this piece right here. This is the piece that was moving a lot right here. All right. So right here is what was moving a lot when we were like twisting it and everything. So let's go ahead and hot glue this together. So it's more of a weld. I'm going to weld it together. This way we don't have to worry about it. Now there is like a little plastic piece right here where the cap would be attached to. I was thinking about running a screw little tiny screw into that and that will actually help with the movement as well but with it being so so dry I'm afraid the screw might crack it but we can try it you know just extra protection from movement No extra hot glue never hurts. All right. Now this other piece, I'm gonna actually hot glue that as well um, to to this. I just stuck it on there for time being right now. But I'm gonna actually hot glue that on there. I just want to make sure I had it where I want it to be at before we glued it. mark so we want the end of it to be right there so when I glue it I know where I want this to overlap at I want it to the end of it to be right there so all right get another hot glue stick I bought the extra long ones so that way, you know, have a whole lot of glue here. All right. All right so we're just gonna just put some hot glue on there, and then we're just gonna stick that on there like that. Hold it on there so it can get hard. One thing I didn't like about it when I was putting the glue on there was the insulation was starting to melt. This foam. Because it was so, so hot. Yeah. I got the food ready if y'all want to eat. Okay. All right. So, now let me put some glue in here. Yeah, see that's what I was talking about. The heat was burning the insulation right there. 
as you can see it made like a hole there so what I may have to do guys is find me some zip ties I'll give me some zip ties since the hot glue is not gonna work it's just too hot uh, I'll run a zip tie two of them around this just to hold it on there together it's not the prettiest thing but hey if it works it works right that's the main thing so I don't think this plug down here is gonna move anymore we got enough hot glue on this so I think we got a good seal there like I said it didn't leak any water from any of the fittings so I think we're pretty much set uh, just gotta put some zip ties around this put it on the truck and then whenever we do use it we're gonna show you guys at the end of this video how it works and that'll be it so like always just remember to follow and subscribe hi right, guys thank y'all so much hey guys so we uh had this cooler we put a little gadget together here last time and we put it on the truck for a couple days actually it was about a week it was on the truck and after you know going down the road bumping around this did not hold up and it's the part that goes on this end of the cooler where that little plug was so it did not it did not work so this cooler is old and if y'all remember the one hand is broken okay yeah now we got a convertible that's a convertible top y'all right there but okay anyway enough of that one so we needed a cooler that we could actually put our little switch cutoff switch on too and this just screws onto you know plastic so we found igloo cooler right here this one is a uh, 66 liter 70 quarts cooler uh not sure what the size of this one is but this one is a lot more bigger so this one actually has a cap on it so you can unscrew this okay then we took our little gadget here and it screws right on there so now all we gotta do is open it close it when we want to drain our cooler this one has a latch on the front of it pop the latch and there you go but yeah so show you guys the inside real quick So guys, the cooler, I mean, like I said, it works really good. I mean, it stays cold, everything else. We just can't have water coming out in the floorboard of our truck. So, like I said, you know, this right here just screws right up on there, and it's perfect. You don't have to have none of this pipe stuff on there. You just hook a hose pipe right to it, turn it, turn it on, and it will drain. Now, the inside of this cooler is a lot more deeper. It's more bigger. And it's supposed to be five days. Um, the ice just ain't here for five days. So we're going to really test this out. But I like how much wider it is. The Coleman, it's okay. It's just, you don't have a lot of inside space. That's what we need. We need space for drinks and our lunch meat. Um, all that good stuff. You know, we got, got some turkey, got some Kobe Jack, you got some bologna, Parmesan cheese, bread and butter pickles, and then we got a uh, relish, must be relish, yep, sweet relish. That's for my uh, tuna, I like these tuna. We got turkey ribs, we got some monster, then we got some carrot down there, you know, just in case we see some rabbits, you know, we'll feed the rabbits. But uh, <laughs> healthy snack, guys. Healthy snacks. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything over into this cooler. And see how much room we got. So 
this is what we're looking at right now with space and we do have ice in here that's taking up space of course but put all this food in there and then i'm gonna try to dump the ice into this cooler so way we can save the ice and and then get more ice for this cooler so let me go ahead and get that done real quick Brittany showed up just in time, y'all. I'm telling you, ice is cold. That might be why they call it ice cold, right? Because it is cold. I'm telling you. We need some more uh, mayonnaise. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we still got ice, about a half a quarter of ice actually in there. But look at this. Look how much more room we have, y'all. We have hardly any food in there. I know, we gotta go get shopping here. But yeah, so I think this cooler is gonna work good. For some reason, guys, when I bought this igloo, I thought we had an igloo, but I didn't realize we had a coal mine. I thought it was an igloo. But uh but you know, both sides look the same. And she's gonna ice. Was that a cheetah? What was that? Yeah, it could be a cheetah. Why is there a cheetah in there? Ew, nasty. But yeah, so. I don't know who eats cheetahs. So, guys, that cooler with all this stuff in it, it was to the top. So now we have all this room here. So it's a big Oh yeah, like it was all the way to the top of that. So okay. it's coated. So let's put this bologna on ice right here on ice. Right on ice. But we gotta get some more food, guys, and get some more ice, and we'll be good to go. And we have our little plug on there already. So all we gotta do is hook the hose pipe to it. When we're ready to drain it, you don't gotta put that on there. It's shut, oh. so water's not gonna come out of it. I mean, honestly, we could probably take that plug off if we wanted to, but let's see. Put a screw on it. Yeah, so anyway, guys, that's our new cooler. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow us for more. All right, guys. Thank you.